What's up, Explorers? Really glad to have you back on the channel. If you're new, hit subscribe. This channel is all about finding joy in the journey of both teaching and learning. We're going to bring back play, passion, and purpose to our classrooms for both our students and ourselves. If that sounds interesting, join this community. Today's video is going to be a mashup. We're going to be connecting and bringing in technology, kind of new school meets old school. We're going to use and infuse technology into this two-day lesson that I think you guys are going to find interesting and you're going to want to probably add uh, because really it was awesome. If that sounds good to you, stick around. Boom. What was this one or two day lesson that really went well? It's about making a common craft sort of video. That's that kind of video where you see people either like drawing or they maybe slide in various things onto the screen. So it's kind of this mashup of technology where we're gonna have a camera record your actions. You're gonna make kind of this storyboard and things are gonna happen on these scenes. But we're gonna use old school like paper and pencil uh, drawings. And the students really loved it. So. Here's what we did. They had one section and they read about the Crusades in my book. And they took that one section and as a small group, four or five different students, they had to storyboard out that section and think of each storyboard moment as like a scene. What could we put into the scene if we were truly building like a set? You know, what would be on that set? And then they had to develop a script that would move from scene to scene to scene and really have to encompass what they learned in that whole unit or the whole section, not unit. And the kids had this had to long term plan this right because we're going to do this this mashup of new school meets old school or old school meets new school however you want to say it. Uh, so kids really had to map out what we're going to be on each scene and then they took sheets of paper and made little drawings little drawings they took the paper and you know I told them to sort of cut out the image that they made try to make those images relatively similar sizes and these are going to be the props that are going to be slid in to the camera view while someone else narrates the scene. Now, this is, this takes like incredible sort of planning and forethought because you have to think of like every little detail that would be in the scene. It has to remain interesting and visually appealing to, to the viewer. So, you know, I told the kids you couldn't just slide in one picture of King Richard and then talk about King Richard for like two minutes. Like that's not going to be interesting. It might be filled with facts, but it wouldn't serve its purpose, right? A common craft video has to be both content but also visually appealing. So we have to think of other props that you could slide in and out. So once the students had written their script, I told them, mine that script for creative possibilities of where you could infuse some more props into your scene. They did a phenomenal job. Uh, this is no easy task because they had to map it out and to add a little extra oomph. They had one period to sort of draw it. Then they had another day, like a, like a homework if they wanted to, to like continue to color and draw those scenes out. Then the next day in class, they had about 15 minutes to sort of practice with their teammates. And then we were gonna record it. But he, here's the extra oomph. They got one take. <laughs> 
I can't believe it. Like that is incredibly difficult. And they had to really orchestrate and work together in concert. The narrator had to read the script in such a pace and cadence that is both interesting, but at the same time allows those verbal pauses, allow that moment where you slide your sort of speech down a little bit so that the people can set up the scene. They can slide in those different uh, components into the scene and it can look good and remain visually interesting while the audio is syncing up with that video. And it's all done in one take. Uh, the camera never shuts off. And I'll, I'll, I definitely am going to include an example here. To, uh, at the end of the video, I'll show the whole thing. I've dropped in a few little examples, but uh, I'll drop in the whole scene from one, one of my groups just so that you can kind of get a flavor of what, what they did. My tech setup, which you'll see in some of the videos that I've shot, was, I mean, it seems high tech, but it's just the stuff that I've used for this YouTube channel. So a camera, a microphone, but you guys don't have to have it be that tech setup. You could literally do this with an iPhone. Just set it up on a little stand and point it down uh, on, the, on the, the setup. I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be that technologically savvy here. The whole point really is in the collaboration, in the creativity, in the planning. I love that it involves tactile they're still drawing and thinking of those scenes in terms of physicality that they're gonna move something in and think like set that scene in a quick and easy way like they're they're gonna be the stage crew for that set I love that it involves a little public speaking and they really have to think about how that speaking works in the context of this assignment blathered on and on and on about this but as you can see I was super blown away by what the kids did and like how this little mini project this two-day project really not only like hammer home the content but it really hammer home the skills that are needed you know in our classrooms and hopefully in the world like to work as teams to plan out you know to be creative to, to really apply all your talents to this and it really resonated with the students they had a really good time it was fun it was challenging and ultimately they produced something great great and so I share it with you guys so if you have some sort of creative project that you would love to detail down below if you have a question you know interact with the links that are included in this uh, there's a there's a link that you can send me a question or something that you want me to sort of do a video on there are links to other ways to connect with me like my website uh, my well-played podcast check those things out and as always I would love a comment down below this is a great great community and I can't wait to hear how you're going to use this old school meets new school mashup with a common craft video. That's all I got for you today. I'm Michael Matera. Till next time, see ya. Today we are here to talk about the Crusades, specifically the Third Crusade. The Third Crusade started in 1189 when the Muslims reclaimed Jerusalem. The Holy Roman Empire recruited the German king, English king, and French king, and their strong armies to attack Jerusalem. Jerusalem belonged to the Muslims who are definitely not happy about this. Saladin, a great general, gathered his army and defended Jerusalem. While Saladin was defending Jerusalem, the French leader of the Crusades left for Europe and the German leader died. The English king was now all alone in this battle. The king happened to be King Richard I, who, like Saladin, was an amazing general. But he had a small army. Even though both leaders fought against each other, they respected each other because each were very chivalrous. Battles and negotiations took place all over Jerusalem and a compromise was made. Saladin would let Christians make pilgrimages to Jerusalem and Richard would let the Muslims have their land. It was not what King Richard wanted, but he came back to England anyway. None of the rest of the Crusades ever worked out. Why? The climate was harsh and hot, dry desert winds blew. Also, many leaders liked to back out at the last instant, like the leader of France. 
Many plans were unorganized. And Saladin's army was huge, even bigger than Richard's. Also, many people died on the long journey to the Holy Lands. The Crusades ended in 1291, when the Muslims had regained all of their land. Thanks for watching.